India has shared a good relationship with Nepal almost since independence. Not only are we neighbors, but we are also partners in security, trade, and natural resources. To top it all, hundreds of Indians and Nepalese are welcomed across the border regularly. So what's the deal with the sudden Indo-Nepal hostility? A few years ago, Nepal adopted a democratic form of government. As the largest democracy in the region, India was of course extremely supportive of the move. Prime Minister Modi's visit to Nepal last year and India's prompt relief efforts after the Kathmandu earthquake indicated that diplomatic relations were going strong. All the while, India attempted to help the small nation to set up its democratic processes. However, when the time came for Nepal to announce their draft constitution, India didn't react well. Because of this draft constitution, minority groups who are tied to India felt largely ignored, underrepresented and excluded. And so, India sent Nepal suggestions for amendments. Last month, Nepal formally adopted their new constitution that did not include these amendments. Needless to say, India was not particularly happy. But before we get to that, there were already problems over the constitution within Nepal. Remember the minority groups who were underrepresented in the draft constitution? They began protesting. As the situation grew worse, reports suggest that Nepal tried to ask for India's help. But India took their own time in responding. And finally, when there was a response, India was less than diplomatic about it. An unofficial blockade was formed along the border almost entirely stopping trade between India and the landlocked country of Nepal. This devastated Nepal's small economy and created an acute shortage of products during their festival season. It looks like the Modi government will not waver unless Nepal amends their constitution. On the other hand, the newly elected KP Sharma Oli government might just extend a hand of friendship to improve their now desperate situation. The problem is yet unresolved. But for the sake of the holiday season and the cold winter coming ahead, let's hope that a solution comes quickly.